What is up, YouTube? This your girl, Lili, and I am back with another video. So before we jump into it, I'm going to need you guys to smash that like button. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you know whenever I get a new video posted. Alright, so um, today I wanted to do a look vlog for you guys. Um... I just really had a taste for some crab and lobster and just a whole bunch of stuff because when I get a taste for something I just can't get it off my mind until I fulfill the taste so we're gonna be doing that today um, also I don't really have like too much like planned to talk about so if it gets a little weird it's okay just hang in there Alright, so I just want to start off by saying that I don't usually eat carbs, like heavy carbs like this, but um, I don't know, we just have some in our freezer and I'm just trying to get rid of it. But also, um, I started intermittent fasting and so like I can only eat certain periods of time of the day. So um, as long as it's in my window, I should be fine. But um, I'm still going to try to stay um, more on the low carb side of things whenever I do my recipes or my mukbang, my mukbangs. But um, I just really um, wanted to get rid of some of this and um, make some more room in my freezer. But also I kind of had a taste for some pasta because I haven't had pasta in like a long time. But um, other than that, I try to stay on the low carb path. Um, I have some, um, some mussels, I have some Jonah crab, um, claws and arms, and I got, um, a whole lobster, but I got my husband to, um, take all the, um, take the tail, crack tail for me, and to take the meat out for me, and, um, I ate the, the legs earlier, so, yes. And I got um, a little bit of um, like broccoli and cheese mash over here, but um, that's just the last of that. I just had to get rid of it, so I just decided to do that. But yeah, so let's just dig in. So, oh, yes, ooh, everything smells so good. Actually, I uh, prepared this myself. Yes. Um, I don't really get to cook as much as I want to because I work two jobs. So, I'd be real busy. But, but I actually um, prepared this. Obviously, it was fully cooked whenever I got it. I just got it from Walmart. And um, really, the only reason why I got the Jonah Crab was because I really just wanted to um, try it out. I really just wanted to, um, like... Yeah, try it out. I've never tried this before, so I was like, all right. But, um, yeah. So, I do want to, um, kind of speak on what's been going on here lately. I do kind of want to speak on what's been going on here lately, you know, with the Black Lives Matter movement and, um, you know, just everything that's been going on. I know um, a lot of people, especially here in the South, that's where I live, we all know that things like this have been going on for a long time. And I think it's 100% downright just wrong you know wrong what they're doing to our young black men um just the police brutality the racism the systematic racism the things that were built into our justice system to hold black people back um really all people of color back um, yeah, um, I, I believe that if you believe in something, 
that you do you need to fight for it at all cost you need to fight for it i don't think that we will see a change unless we keep speaking up about what we believe in speaking up about the injustices that we have to face every day as black people um i think you just need to keep fighting and keep making sure that your voice is heard make sure that you vote make sure that um you support any charities that are going towards um helping people who have been arrested from protest um if you're able to a way that you can help without having to a way that you can help without um having to spend any money is to basically you know just educate yourself make sure that you educate yourself about what's going on um in your city what's going on in our country um what's going on um in the prison systems what they're doing to um reform the prison system the justice system just educate yourself um things that have happened in the past because I think people try to sweep that under the rug like yeah slavery was a long time ago yes but from that until today we're still seeing um black people mistreated even though it's not like people from hanging from trees or someone whipping you and calling you their property you know um locking up our black men and women just because of the color of their skin or because of the neighborhoods that they live in that you built for them you know I just think that people just need to educate themselves and um also I mean I'm a big advocate for uh peace you know um I really like all the peaceful demonstrations peaceful protests I love it I really do I love it so I just want to make sure that you know people are really trying to um get down to the bottom of (laughs) what's really going on here and uh, educate themselves and um that's pretty much all I have to say on it I don't want to say too much because we could be talking all day but I really think um yeah our justice system needs to change 100% without a shadow of a doubt but aside from that I'm finding it very hard to uh, (laughs) eat and talk because I'm like wanting to concentrate on my food but with the crab So, at this point, I am eating, and then I hear my dog whine at my door. So, it's the middle of the night, or I guess really early in the morning, whatever you want to call it. But I work a night shift schedule, and that's when I record my videos. I really didn't want to be bothered with her, so I just stopped talking. (laughs) And I just, you know, went on by my business, and I just kept on eating. So, for the rest of this video, I'm probably going to be doing voiceover, so enjoy that these oysters i picked up from bilo they were a tomato basil kind of sauce on them you just kind of let them simmer a little bit i put some butter off in there and it was delicious these tortellini 
I just put some butter, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder over them, um, stirred it up, and that's all I used on it. Those were really good. Um, I usually like to put a sauce on it, but I was like, forget the sauce. I got everything else. I don't need it. <laughs> you can tell I haven't had pasta in a long time. I'm eating those tortellinis like a savage. Also, tell me what you use every day, like in cooking or like in your food. Do you use butter or margarine? I uh, know a lot of people use margarine, but we use butter in our house. Let me know in the comment section what you guys use. I'm mad I just dipped that pasta in that butter like that. Here's a little side note. If you like the top that I'm wearing, I actually got it from Amazon for free. Yes, you heard that correctly. I said I got it for free. If you'd like me to do a video on how I get stuff for free from Amazon, please give this video to... 20 likes can we do that if we get this video to 20 likes i'll put that video out all right now one thing i can say about this jonah crab is that it did have a lot of meat on it like it, it was it was full of meat these arms and claws Although, whenever you broke the claw open, it had like some kind of like bone or like flat piece that you had to eat around. And so all the meat didn't come out like they would usually in like a crab leg, like in the snow crab or like king crab. So it was a little harder to eat. It was like falling into pieces and getting loose in the butter. It was kind of a mess, but... It was still good. I just don't know if I'll get it again just because it was so hard to work with. When I cooked my lobster and crab, they were fully cooked, but I lined my pan with some aluminum foil and I put some butter, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of parsley just so it looked nice, some accent, a little bit of old bay seasoning and some dill i wrapped it up in the tin foil and i basically just let it warm up in the oven so all the meat absorbed that butter and got the flavor in there and since i wrapped it up it didn't get dry or anything like that oh my what what, what am i doing I know I am not about to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to do that. Oh my goodness gracious. You see? And I'm supposed to be 26. <laughs> I know. Really? Uh, uh, on your lip? Come on. I don't know what I was doing. Can't take me anywhere. that I'm awake right now I won't hear the end of it she's a spoiled brat and that's my fault I know so hey hey we gotta do what we gotta do here man this stuff is delicious when I tell you that crab was really hard to work with it really was like I'm not capping it was hard to get into Sis, why are you making those faces? <laughs> okay, now here comes the mother load. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah bring it a little closer, sis. Uh, I, I think they can see it now. 
Oh yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Huge. But it still had the little flat piece in the center. Like I just cannot get over it. like I've never had crab like that. Okay, guys, so that didn't quite go as I planned it, but it went, we went there, and we went there together, so that's all that matters. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and to hit the notification bell. So that you know whenever I post a new video. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video.